Yeah, I, I got to ask you, Bobby, about uh, just to, to wrap up the thought where, where Wally asked about dropping the gloves in that spot. I always think about the time that you jumped in on Patrick Salehoff in that practice when when Clark MacArthur oh, got yeah. hit. Did did you yeah. did you know that it was a dirty hit, or was your initial reaction Clark is down, Grizz is down, and like like can you walk us through kind of what happened there? I mean, it's it's just so different because it's a training camp and it's a it's a you know, it, it, like if that hit happens in a game, I'm probably doing the same thing. But my reaction wouldn't have been as big as it was. But, you know, when you're in training camp, it's it's like, what are you doing throwing the hit in the first place? And I've talked to Patty about this. I, you know, he's a Detroit kid. So I skated with him last year, like awesome guy. But just I understand you got to make a, you got to do stuff like that to make the team and make a name for yourself. But it was just you got a you got a 15 year veteran guy that's just missed a year and a half of hockey. It was just like. There, there was no place for that hit to be thrown. Um, so, you know, my wires crossed a little bit and I was, I was excited to have my line mate back. Like everybody knows Clark and I, st- we, we wanted to play together. We, we were excited for that year and uh, that got taken away pretty quickly. So I, I addressed it very fast and, and um, it's incredible because the hit was on TSN and then the outpouring from around the league was, was unbelievable. The amount of messages I got. Um, so I, you know, I didn't do it for that reason, but at the same time, it doesn't only, it, it just goes a long way in general. Okay. So f- aftermath was, he, were, did you guys need to tell, uh, it would have been Pierre Dorian, if I'm not mistaken at the time, or, that he's no longer kind of welcome on this roster or was it just understood? No, I mean, if he made the team, we would have had a conversation about it and then moved on. That's just the way hockey goes. Um, I, I, I think he was gone relatively quickly after that to go yeah. down to Belleville. Um, but that had nothing to do with any of the players. I think, you know, I think he was slated to start the year there. That's my guess. But um, I, we had – Pierre we had Dorian no told me differently. We, we didn't, no. yeah. Okay. He said I, I mean, he I never had, had to get him out of there. It. Okay. Because he well, said think, we needed Chris, to separate Chris, him. Yeah. Neiler would have killed him. <laughs> so um, that, that's probably that reason. But at the same time, like, I, I wouldn't have held the hit against him five days later. That's for sure. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have changed my thought on the guy. Um, and when he did come up, we shook hands and we moved on and played together, you know, on the line or on, on the ice. It doesn't, it doesn't, yeah. it just is what it is. And, um, you know, there's always fight. There's, there's a fight every year in practice. I think Grives and Neeler got into it a couple of times. I think I've gotten into it. With, I got into it with Clark. He was one of my favorite guys in the team. <laughs> we got into it on the ice. So it's just yeah, water under the this. bridge. Yeah. It was, it, we didn't actually fight. We were screaming at each other. We were getting ready to, and then I, had, we had our Halloween apartment that night, Halloween party, and I had to pick him up and I was pissed still. <laughs> and he texted me like, I wasn't even home yet, and I was still fuming. And he texted me, he's like, "We're grown men, so I'll see you tonight for the drive down to wherever the party was." And I was like, "All right, fine." Kind of diffused the tension, but I was like, "Are we going to tee off at each other here in the parking lot at his <laughs> in front of his in front of his babysitter?" But uh, it, it was not under the bridge by the time I, you know, it just it, it just happened. Oh man, we're going to need some info on the costumes that you guys wore. That you do you remember? Like, I I I just want to know. I'm trying to p- paint the picture of. The two of you having this tense drive down to the party. I just, I need to know what you're wearing. <laughs> the clown knows. Could you imagine? <laughs> oh, man, I can't. I can you, Could you imagine? Um, yeah, the Joker. I think, yeah, you know, you. I can't remember what he was, but he was all painted up, I believe. You, yeah, you'll just. See, I was cat in the hat, so you'll just see the cat in the hat, and and you know, a big painted guy having a tee off in Canada <laughs> on a cul-de-sac. Um, yeah. But yeah, my my uh, wife was a crazy cat lady, and I was cat in the hat or something like that. I can't remember, but yeah, it would have been comical. 